Hello, my name is Matias Cavodi. I'd like to welcome you to my channel today. We're going to talk about the first time I saw Spider Man die in a story. Obviously, characters die all the time and they come back from the dead. At least during my lifetime, I've seen Spider Man die twice. First time in the hands of Morlun. Second time, well, he was killed by Dr. Octopus. I feel like the second time was done much better. So, this is part of the other saga and um, Evolve or Die. And it was written by Reginald Hudlin. And we have art by Mike Diodato. The art is fantastic. It's actually part six to a 12 issue story arc. So, Marlon, at first time he popped up, I didn't, at least his design, I, he looked, at least to me, too similar to Morbius. And he was sort of like a cross between Morbius and Juggernaut. The guy was pretty much unstoppable. And he had a fixation on feeding on Spider-Man. And actually, Morlon brought some interesting aspects to the Spider-Man mythos. Also, we got a new character during that time called Ezekiel. And there's a whole thing that Ezekiel put into question about the origin of Spider-Man's powers and that it, they're totemic in nature, that Morlin feeds off those totems. And later on, we're going to get a pretty awesome story with, uh, with Morlin and his family called the Inheritors with um, the Spider-Verse. Uh, he's the main one of the main villains behind that. So basically, the dude wants to eat Spider-Man. He, he's really fixated on that. And he's pretty much unstoppable. He was killed previously in the first the first time uh, they battled it out. He comes back from the dead and he gives Spider-Man a run for his money because Spider-Man pulls out all the stops. He's, he, he's, he's not pulling like he's he knows he has to throw everything he has at Morlum because this guy just doesn't stop. And Spider-Man is trying to distract him with his banter and stuff like that. And Morlin just doesn't give a shit. He just wants to eat. He's sort of like a force of nature. And what's interesting is that this particular story is going to change up uh, Spider-Man's uh, status quo for quite a while. Because after this, Sp Spider's going to get killed. Spoilers <laughs> for a really old story that came out in what year? Wait. This came out all the way back in 2006. Gets killed when he comes back from the dead. Spider side and this more metaphysical. There's, there's a, they open this door about the nature of Spider-Man's powers and that there's a, like a mystical and metaphysical aspect. Takes more control over Spidey. So for a brief time, he's going to have spider stingers. That really didn't work for me. I didn't like the spider stingers. And I think here, I'm not sure because I'm sort of diving in. Um, I think he gets organic webbing during this time, sort of to match up with Spider-Man movies that were really big during this time. And the battle itself, it's very well told. You can see the extremely heroic Spider-Man just not wanting to give up. And to a point, he doesn't want to die. Like he's, he doesn't want to show it, but you can feel that want to go he still has mj he has his aunt may he has a lot of people he needs to protect so actually i remember reading this and seeing this final page like my head my heart sort of sunk like i felt really bad um they it's really interesting where they go after this be a lot of changes to the spider-man mythos uh, after this so and one day we're gonna cover that's further down the line one more day which is i hate i really hate so hope you guys like it what do you guys think about morlin as a uh, as a villain and the inheritors so see you guys next time bye